What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test probably one of my most favorite survival flashlights. Why I call it survival flashlight? Well, first of all, it's very, very bright. It's a rechargeable flashlight and also the light bulb gets so hot that you can start the fire just from the heat of the flashlight. Let's see what I'm talking about. It's definitely not intended for kids. So kids, do not try this at home. This flashlight I already have reviewed on a second channel and it got lots of views. So today I'm going to review a mini. They have came out with the same flashlight but a mini. Look at that. Look at the size difference. That's actually awesome. I would rather take this flashlight going camping because at night time when I'm cooking, I can use it. It's really bright and also I can start a fire with it. This one is amazing too, but look how much bigger that is. So let's see how well this starts a fire compared to this one. We'll just do a little review. And right here there is a warning. Do not touch this when it on because it will be really, really hot. They both has exactly the same cases. Of course, one is going to be bigger exactly the same straps. First of all, you might wonder when you buy one, why doesn't it turn on? Well, because when you don't use it, there is a really good safety system from kids. If kids find this flashlight, they, you don't want them to have it. They might start a fire or they might even burn themselves. It opens like that. There is a little clamp. Don't break it. You're supposed to use screwdriver to open it. I broke mine off by accident because I was a little bit too rough. And what you're supposed to do is plug in the battery just like this, boom. And then we're just going to close it, everything back up. Okay, we have set the other one on charge. This is how you turn it on, boom. And right here, if you don't need it too bright, you can make it lower so you can conserve the battery. With the high brightness, you can start a fire. Let's try it out, see how well it does while the other one is charging. We're gonna set it on a brighter setting and just touch the paper like that and hold it for a second and let's see what happens. It's starting to smoke. Look at it, burn the hole to it so quickly. Well, definitely burning the hole to it. Just gotta fold it a bunch of times first. Do not look at the actual light inside of a flashlight. It's just like looking at the sun. It's going to hurt your eyes. There you go. We get it going on fire. You see it? Amazing. So you got yourself a flashlight and a fire starter all at once. Let's see if the mini flashlight does the same. Okay, this is how you turn it on. Boom. And right here, same way, darker, even darker. And we're going to use the brightest to start the fire. Hold it like this, whoa. This paper lights up instantly, that's crazy. Because it's a darker paper, it's not white. Whoa, look how much it's smoking. And there you go, we started the fire. That's epic, don't you think? Flashlight and at the same time it can set things on fire. Definitely very useful camping or survival flashlight because if you've been camping before you know that do not forget your flashlights because when it gets dark you can't even go to the bathroom, it gets so dark. Also very important when you're camping you probably will need to start a fire so definitely an epic flashlight to have around. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Also check me out on Instagram. Links in description. And I'll see you next time.